Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and in the previous videos, we developed a report by using the SAP ABAP new syntax. Now in this video, what we will do, rather than writing the three queries, we will write a single query. Now you can understand very well what is the purpose of this video. In this video, we will learn how to write a join based upon the new features of OpenSQL. So what I will do, I will create a program. Purpose of the program is same to same. The same to same program output is same to same. But rather than writing the three queries in one query itself, I will join these three tables. So I will go for SC38 transaction code and we will develop a program. Suppose my name of the program is ZPRG demo on join and it is new syntax. I will go for create. I will give that title. It is anyways, the purpose of the program is same to same. It is sales order report. I will go for type as executable program. And I will save this program as a local object. I will activate the program. So firstly, I will take input into this program. Sim whatever is required and in the it is available in the previous program. I'll simply copy paste. So input to the program is same to same creation date. I will simply activate this program and provide the selection text. I will go for go to text elements selection text. And I will choose DDIC reference. You all know this text is coming from data element. So our input to the program is ready. Now, rather than three open SQL queries, now we will go for single query. We will learn how to write a join for this particular three tables, but we will completely use the new syntax. We will use the new features of open SQL. So firstly, I will write select. You all know our output has six column. VBELN from VBAK table, these four columns from VBAP table, and this column from MAKT table. So I will write the six columns. What is first column? VBELN. You all know in new features of open SQL, columns are separated by comma. So I will write VBELN, POSNAR, MATENAR, KWMENG, VRKME, and MAKTX. So we are fetching six call. Now I will write the tables. Firstly, we will go for VBAK and VBAP. Then we will join with MAKT. So what is your first table from VBAK? Suppose we will create a alias. Alias means shortcut. Suppose I am writing as A. So A is the alias for this VBAK table. Alias creation is optional, but it makes our task easy. So whenever I will use into this particular query, I will go for A. Now I will go for join. Join is the keyword. And what is your second table? VBAP as B. Now you all know whenever you are not specifying anything, by default system will take it as inner join, inner join. You can specify the keyword inner also, no problem. But if you are not specifying anything, system will always consider this as a inner join. And you all know 
inner join always take the matching records between the table. Suppose if I will go for the example. Suppose in this particular first table, we have order number 1 to 7. In the second table, we have order number 1 to 5. Suppose you are going for input, suppose 1 to 7. But if you are going for join, your output will only, only, if you are going for inner join, your output will only display 1 to 5 because in this both the tables, what are the matching order numbers? 1 to 5. 6 and 7 will not come in the output if you are going for inner join because inner join always display the matching records between the table. So currently we are going for a perception that whatever the data, whatever the sales order is in VBAK, it is compulsory in the VBAP table. At least one record is in VBAP table. Then I will show you other part also if you are not going for this particular perception. So first is I am going for inner join of VBAK and VBAP. Now we are joining these two tables on the basis of what column or what field. What is the common column between both the tables? V, B, E, L, L. So I will simply write A because you all know A is the alias now. A, V, B, E, L, N is equal to B, V, B, E, L. So we join the two tables in which the first table VBELN is equal to second table VBELN. Now I will go for further. Now we will join with the third table. So now I will write join. So what is your third table? MAKT. And we, for this also, we will create a alias. Suppose alias is C. Now what is we are we join with this particular third table. So what is common between second and third table? The common column is matenar. So how I will write on the B matenar means VBAP matenar is equal to your MAKT matenar. Now we will simply, simply go for where condition. So I will write now where condition. Now, what is the where condition from the screen? What you are giving creation date. So we will simply, simply go for ER that in. You all know whenever you have select option, you need to use in S underscore ER that. Now we will go for further one more where condition also. You all know we are specifying the system language. We are specifying the system language. As of now, we are only going for single query. So we need to pass that also in the where condition. And SPRAS is equal to psi length. Now we will go for important changes into this particular query. You all know we are specifying ER that. So system should understand this ER date is of which particular table? This ER date is from which table? VBAK. So I am saying A. What is the alias for VBAK? A. Now this PRAS is from which table? MAKT. So I will simply write C. C PRAS is equal to psi length. U. Now here also, whenever we are fetching the column, we will specify A or B. So this VBELN from this VBAK. This is from VBAP. This is from VBAP. This is from VBAP. This is from VBAP. This is from VB. This is from MAKT. This is your C. Now you all know in SAP ABAP new features of Open SQL. All host variables must be prefixed with at the rate. So I will simply write at the rate here. Here also, this must be prefixed with at the rate. Have you seen? We have written the query, but we have not written. We will take that data into which internal table. So I will go for that part. Yes, 
I will write into table. Into table. Suppose we will go for inline data declaration and you all know all host variable must be prefixed with at the rate. So I will write at the rate data. Suppose my name of the internal table is LT underscore out. So this is the way how you are writing the join based upon the new features of OpenSQL. If you don't know the new features of OpenSQL, at that time, we are always giving the space between the columns. All host variables are not prefixed with at the rate. We are not going for inline data declaration. So those all things we are not doing if we don't know the new features of OpenSQL. If I will check the syntax, you can see it is syntactically correct. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, what we did in the previous videos, we created the program based upon the new syntaxes, but we are going for individual queries. Now we are learning how to write a join based upon the new features of OpenSQL. So I took the input in the program. You all know whenever you are going for new features of OpenSQL, your columns are separated by the comma. Now, after that, I specified first table. I created the alias and I am joining with the second table. If you are not specifying anything, it will by default take it as a inner join. And inner join always take the matching record. This is same as that of your previous syntaxes. Now, we what is common between both the tables? We need to use on the first table tilde operator. This is your tilde operator. Tilde operator. This tilde operator is above your tab. You can see this above your tab on your keyboard. Yes. Now, this first table VBELN is equal to second table VBELN. Now, after that, we are going for inner join with MAKT. What is common? Second table VBAP matinar is equal to MAKT matinar. We are storing into internal table. We used inline data declaration. We put the where condition. So in this particular join, based upon the new features, we use the comma separated list. All host variables are prefixed with at the rate. We use the inline data declaration. Now in the next video, I will simply, simply go for writing the ALV logic and we will understand the output in the debugging mode. And then after that, we'll go for the another thing also because maximum people will say, here you are going for an assumption that whatever the sales order is in VBAK, it is always in VBAP. But if this is not the case, if you have a concept of draft sales order, then what we need to do, that part we will also be covered at that time. What are the changes required into this particular joint? So that's it in this video. Thank you.